Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial by the Blender Animations. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to make the camera do a 360 degree view of your object. Now this is very helpful when you're trying to show off what you've done, like what you've modeled, rather than actually animating anything. Um, I use this in a lot, like with everything I do with like um, houses, uh, house appliances, everything like that. Um, so you want to be looking at it from the top view. So 7 is top view on the number pad. Um, press spacebar and then add, curve and then busier circle. And you'll see that's right in the middle there. Just scale it up a bit so you can see it outside of the cube. So that's it there. Now you want to make sure the camera is in a good viewpoint for the whole way around the object. So press 0 on the number pad to look at it in the camera's view and that looks pretty good um, you can see that there is problems with lighting and um, because the, the light is there when the camera is going to be over here then the whole side of like everything the camera can see is going to be dark um, so to make the camera um, do the circle round you um, rear right mouse click on the camera hold down shift and right mouse click on the circle then you press Control and P and follow path. Now if you um, scroll through the timeline and the camera is going to follow um, that the length of that circle all the way around. So you want to make sure that um, the camera is in a good starting point. Like is looking at this corner the best um, spot because it's going to finish there as well. So you don't want it to be finishing looking at the back of an object or at the side of it, you want it to be looking at the front. But, because it's just a cube, the corner is alright. Um, now, to fix up the lighting, because when the camera is going to be there, see the whole side is dark. Um, so I'm going to first turn ray shadow off, which is going to stop the shadow effect. I'm just going to put this on each of the sides of the cube. If you just render that out again, that's really good coverage. If you just have a look at it from another side, then that's good as well. So that's going to be good to look at from the whole object. Now if you right mouse click on the circle, on the busier circle, and you go to the square, you can see path length here. And that says uh, how many frames it takes for the camera to do the 360 degrees. So at the moment it's 100, um, so it'll take 100 frames for the camera to get back to where it was. So then at frame 100, it's back there. Um, so from here you can either extend or shorten the path length. So if you want it to take longer to go around here, you'll make the path length a, a lot longer. Um, another thing is when you actually look at it, you'll see that the Vizier circle is there. Um, to fix that, you select the Bezier circle with right mouse click, press M, and just select the second layer and press OK. So now that's not visible in this layer, but if you look on the second layer here, there's your circle. So it's still there, and your camera will still follow the path of it, it's just not visible on this layer. So now if you were to render that by pressing F10, and I'm um, selecting AVI codec, Microsoft Video 1, and we'll select the output as the desktop. This can be 360 um, curve. And because it only takes 100 frames to go all the way around the object, um, usually you want it to be a little bit more so it doesn't just spin around and then just stop suddenly. It'll be able to spin around and then you'll be able to see the end product. So about 150 is pretty good. So if you go animate, you'll see that it slowly spins around the object. So this is best if you're wanting to show off a model that you've made. Um, that way you don't actually have to have any animation to it. Um, and this, um, using the busier circle, it'll be a lot smoother than if you were to use um, keyframe animation for the camera. Um, 
So you can see that the lighting isn't as good on this side, but it still makes everything visible. So yeah, the, an the animation is still good. Um, in my next tutorial, I'm going to cover how you can change the background cover, color, sorry, and um, also how you can put um, something underneath it, or maybe a stand. Um, but yeah, that'll be in my next tutorial. So if you come back then, I'll be able to show you that one. So now this animation is almost finished. It's only got 50 frames left. Now you can see that it's at the end point here, which is also the start point. So this, it's rendering pretty fast. Um, so this is really helpful. Usually it'll be looking at the front of your object. I've made the mistake of having it look at the front of the object on the start frame. Then it'll be off just a little bit on the end frame. Um, because as it goes around the 360 degrees it doesn't finish at the exact point where it started, it finishes just back a little bit so you weren't able to make out what was on the front okay so now this animation's finished that's it there you see that it does the 360 degrees stops there and it just waits for another two seconds thank you for watching today's tutorial if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or send me a message. Um, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed.